So, um, as I, you know, I've shared with many people, I come from a family of first and a family of service. And so this is something that's always infused the work that I do in the world, in my communities, and even in and with my families. And when I started to look at what was happening in our communities and in our Commonwealth and in our nation amidst a global pandemic and some of the uh, things that had come to the surface uh, that were were um, really hurting our society, tear, tearing apart at the fabric of who we are and dividing us. I really wanted to get in there and use some of my skills that are bridge building and helping people to get things done together in an inclusive way to the political process. And so um, I looked at what was happening in our communities uh, last summer. I looked at what's happening at the border. I was looking at what happened at January 6th. And there was a call. I, I felt a call that needed to be answered to kind of step in and bring my skill set and my life experience to, to the good people of District 50. A number of, of platform issues on my site, but I will say the top three, uh, if I had to kind of boil it down, is the first the jobs in the economy. And I often look at that because not because I think it's more important than healthcare or education or criminal justice reform or environmental issues. That are also on my site. It's because I think it's one of the things that threads into and connects to everything. We'd like to really silo things as if they're separate, but jobs in the economy become one of the most important things. We talk about the wealth gap that between the haves and the have nots. We talk about, and in that space, we're also looking at the uh, gender pay gap and we're looking at minimum wage issues and how we need to make sure that all those things are in place properly. And that small business owners, which are the backbone of not just the Commonwealth's economy, but the nation's economy making sure we have good support and resources there. And then of course, um, our education. I come from a family of educators and uh, folks who you know, uh, work with folks and represent folks across the spectrum, kids and teachers and other adults with various levels of ability and various learning needs and teachers who need res uh, resources and support as we move into proper conference compensation, collective bargaining issues, and then of course, um, healthcare. So all of these things need to be done with an equity lens and something that includes all voices at the table, because we have a, a lot of people experiencing different things in our district, even though we're working in the same systems. And so we want to make sure that we, we put some things in place and build upon the really great work that our legislature has already, already started.